anti-inflammatories. Why we talk so negative about anti-inflammatories? Always. You talk about NSAID, you talk about opioid analgesics, or you talk about anti-inflammatory corticosteroid, suddenly there is a same thing what used to happen with HRT. All of a sudden, oh, steroid, no. Steroid, no. Why? Because at some point of time, steroids were overused. When they were overused, side effects started pulling up. When they are pulling up, the whole field of particular, this chemical got a bad name. Now everybody is so afraid of writing steroid. Now the latest guideline in URTI or even LRTI, you have to start with, uh, along with your antibiotic, you have to start, uh, even for viral, if not starting the antibiotic, three days of steroid is now recommended. It has already come in the guideline. Because you have to, when we talk about stress, we'll talk about that, you have to decrease the inflammatory load of the body. But how many doctors really write it? As soon as steroid, they think about anabolic steroids, they think about, oh my god, my immunity will go down, I will get osteoporosis in three days, I will be obese in three days. It doesn't happen. Because there is one field who have spoken about it a lot. Karoge to bas khatam, aaj steroid khaye, kal khatam ho jaoge. Aisa nahi hota hai. Right? So, I can say steroid sometimes is better than stem cell. In a short, you are not going to give stem cell to everybody. Got it? And reduce reproductive capacity. Now here, see the beauty of nature. Okay, generation, population going up, done, 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 right? Reason of population going up? More reproduction, because Indian population started rising even